The history of the pool dates back to the 1960s. One of the things that was happening, being a river community, you had a lot of people, you know, swimming in the river. I'm that's a of it. that's a good news, bad news thing. The river's right there; everyone can swim in the river, but the tides and the currents aren't always friendly. And what you had were people who were dying in the river, and not just in Milton, but anywhere. During the late '60s, early '70s, there was federal money that was avail made available to build swimming pools. So you had the Milton Community Pool, which really didn't obviously reduce the number of deaths in the river. Yeah, no. And they had lots of you know, sock hops and things like that at the pool. So it was a busy place. One of the other little tidbits is, it's a meter pool. It's measured in meters. Now... I can't do conversions. <laughs> no, no. And the truth is, your age, you know, you may or may not have had that in school or a lot of it. I'm sure we did. I just math isn't my strong suit. But in the late 1960s, early 70s, the United States was trying to change to the metric system, just like the rest of the world. Which would have made it. So. Well, of <laughs> so when these pools were built, sure enough, you know they were all in meters to conform to international standards. So when you take a look at pools and you take a look at how are they measured, are they in meters? It's like, oh, they're probably built in the late 60s, early 70s. Yeah. You take a look at other pools that are yards, they're probably newer pools when the United States finally gave up on the metric system. So, one of those little tidbits. That's a about, fun fact. Yeah, yeah. Now we can totally use that if I go on Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, what we also have then, uh, our local swim team, uh, the Rockets swim team. And I've been, continuing. And I've been active uh, with the uh, pool for at least the last 10 or 12 years. I've been involved with the uh, Rocket swim team, the Milton swim team. We also have people from uh, Warrior Run. We had an issue going back around 2008 when they actually closed the Watson Town Pool. So at that time, the Milton swim team needed a new coach. There was a coach from Watson Town without a pool. So we merged the two teams in the Watson Town Warrior Run and the Milton swim teams uh, combined to form the Rockets swim team. It's a youth-based uh, age group swim team and it's a great summer activity. What we find is it's a chance for the kids to learn more about competitive swimming and they'll grow on uh, in the sport. Often they'll move into like winter swim for high schools and things like that. We've had kids who have started in our local program who have gone on to district uh, championships, uh, state championships, and even they've gone on to the national level. level. Uh, Alex Moser was one who went on to uh, the nationals, YMCA and nationals in Fort Lauderdale. So in little old Milton, in our nice little com Milton community pool, we have kids who have really done quite well. 